The Deaf Poker Tour held its first tournament in Philadelphia this weekend. It's a poker event for deaf and hard of hearing poker players, and our Hank Flynn was there as the cards were dealt. Woo! <laughs> Very loud. Very, and when competition gets heated, oh yeah, it becomes very loud. Explosions of emotion, nothing unusual in a casino, but when the deaf poker tour is in town, deaf as in not hearing, you listen with your eyes because hands do the talk. Gestures, hand cues, and sometimes the difficulty with communication being a big thing, especially now with COVID, a lot of dealers are wearing masks. So the gesturing is much more important than it used to be. Jay Levine has run Deaf Poker Tour for the better part of 15 years. It's a hub for deaf poker lovers like Andrea, grand champion of the last get together. Good competition, yes, very good. And the deaf people are crazy sometimes, a little bit more than the hearing people are. It's really enjoyable, the competition is crazy. The Deaf Poker Tour is fun at face value, but it's become an amplifier to make the hearing world understand unique deaf needs at casinos or anywhere. Ann Tran, director of poker at Live Casino South Philly, saw an opportunity. The wonderful thing about the Deaf Poker Tour is that we're able to um, embrace the deaf community and the hearing world. And to be able to provide poker and play, it brings that, the group together and they can learn the culture and they learn the language. It's wonderful. The action's good, it's tense. Okay. Lives, especially trained dealers, call for bets with a gesture. Players accept, refuse, or fold with a flip of the hand. They converse in American Sign Language, but outside of a deaf tournament, just like Spanish or French, it is prohibited at a conventional casino poker table. Really, the policies, they don't allow any kind of foreigners to speak in any foreign language. Only English is permitted at the table. So if they speak any foreign language and they have cards in their hand at the same time, they're not able to speak while the cards are in their hand. If it happens, they have to fold. That rule was codified long ago to prevent cheating, but things evolve. Check in with the Deaf Poker Tour online or with Live Casino. They are a sponsor of Fox 29s. They host hybrid poker get-togethers with hearing and deaf folks. Come as you are, but Andrea will be there staring at your pile of chips. I have many opposite players. I have players who are always trying to beat me, but they can't do it. 600,000 deaf Americans plus tens of millions estimated to have some kind of hearing loss, myself included. The deaf aren't with us, the deaf are us. So deal me in on new folks, I'll bet on them for sure. You can play the cards. I lost $100 one time playing Go Fish. I'm Hank and that's my take.